Hello. All right, so I got a question about where to find power devices in ORCAD PSPICE or ORCAD Capture or whatever you want to call it. So when you get ORCAD, whether it's standard or the trial version or the professional version, you should have libraries that have power devices. Let me show you. First, go to uh, File, Open, Library. Then you want, okay, so we've got Cadence, the installation folder. Go into Tools, Capture, Library, Piece Spice. Okay, you do have Capture Library, which has a lot of parts, but many of these parts cannot be simulated. You want to go further into the PSPICE library within the Capture Library, and these parts mostly can be simulated. All right, so let's say you want devices from Infineon. Infineon has good power electronic devices, power devices, IGBTs, uh, IRF, International Rectifier, which I believe got bought by Infineon. Also a popular one is Texas Instruments. So we have, uh, I'm trying to find the Texas Instruments. Ah, here we go, Tex underscore inst. Click open. When you open this library, you can look at the source files, the source library components. And then you can double click on the part, the device here. Then take a look at the, the this operational amplifier. It has a drawing for the schematic. It may or may not have a footprint. See, PCB footprint is not there, um, but that's fine. PSPICE template. These typically have some kind of PSPICE template. So reference designator. These are the properties that would be put in for the part. So reference designator, percent tolerance, percent voltage, output, some model. Okay, so let me show you. This is when you open the library, you can open it. But how do we make use of the library and simulate with the parts? Well, all you do is go to place. And let's see here. You can go to place, part. There we go. Then you want to add that library, that piece by library. You might have a blank field here, a blank area. So go here, click the add library button, navigate to the same folder, piece by then scroll down to whatever folders you need. We'll go with Texas Instruments. Click open. You'll get this library name here. It shows you the folder that's in, that it's in the directory. Then up here, it shows you all the parts that are in that library. When you click on a part, it shows you a preview of the part. So let's say you don't know which op amp exactly, or you might have a, a specific one. Look and see if it's in the piece, in the uh, Texas Instruments library. And then look here to see if it can be simulated. It will have the piece by simulation symbol if it has, if it's able to be simulated. Here it also has this little icon of the PCB editor to show you that it has a footprint for layout. So let's double click on this part and place it. Right click and mode. Now I wonder if I right click on this device and choose show footprint if it will appear. Yes, it does. So this is a DIP8 package. All right, let me get rid of these. But I can also right click and choose Edit PSPICE Model. Then the PSPICE Model opens and I can make changes. I can look into it. All right, very convenient. And that's how that's done. So, that's how you add parts in the library. Let's go and place another part. Maybe let's say place part. I'll show you a second method you can use to find parts. Let's say you want, uh, I don't know, a specific part from Coilcraft. I'm using this just as an example to show you. You can do specific part number searches. Put asterisks around both and hit enter. 
it will look through all the library parts and then find even the libraries that may not be in the piece spice folder and you can double click on it see if it has a simulation profile and it does you place that this is a real inductor with real parameters if we right click on here you can do edit properties and look at the values that are in here so you might want to go with maybe current properties and here's the K1 for that inductance okay so that's what you can do that's how you add the parts there's another way you can find power devices let's say you have a specific part number you can go to place choose uh, piece spice component choose search then look in the different things so let's say we want uh, electromechanical devices but we're focusing on power right so you can do power management gate drivers you can have a general purpose gate driver or a MOSFET driver category and then choose which one you want. Maybe the, the ISL 6612, you double click that and you place it. What's cool is you can see the simulation profile, edit piece by model. Only one instance of the model editor. Okay, so let me close this. No, let, I won't change changes. Right click, edit piece by model and there you go you know you can do voltage reference um, voltage regulators that's a common one so if you want specific voltage regulators let's see if linear technology has any let me see a linear tech this might be a LT part I don't know So the library choices are not, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. It's very good. But, you know, you're not going to find everything in here, right? And some of the part simulation profiles are going to be encrypted, but they'll still work. Okay, so that's to answer the question, how do I find power electronic devices and parts? This is all within ORCAD Capture. It comes pre-installed. So you don't have to, uh, for doing basic simulations, you don't have to go all over the place and download SPICE models from vendors. However, most of the times you'll have some part that needs a specific SPICE model from a vendor. But before we even talk about that, there's one more thing I want to show you. So go to Place, Search Providers. And this will pull up a uh, search where you can look for and where you can find parts from the actual manufacturer and their schematic and PCB footprint models. Once you enter your credentials, you look for some device like the CD7 for something, and you'll find the schematic symbol, the footprint, the 3D step model, and also the data sheet. It gets pulled up within the software that's really cool and you can look at everything to make sure it's the right part you know you can also do some other things like instead of this option you can say power and MOS or something like that hit enter see what gets pulled up right Infineon you have your Infineon part. So now I can right click and place this part directly from the Samaxis library. Yeah. Then I can go back to my search providers tab and go in Ultra Librarian. I have a gallium nitride half bridge power stage. Place part. It downloads the the schematic symbol and the footprint and the 3D model for you if they exist. But I'm going to show you this other thing. If we go back to search providers, you'll also see the parameters here. 
Yeah. The URL for the device. You get to do all this searching in within your software. All right. And then you would go to the manufacturer's website to get the SPICE model. And it's pretty easy. You can associate SPICE models or whatnot. But that's for a different video, a different time. I just wanted to show you how you can look for power devices and power electronic devices. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you.